Hello, boys and girls. We are still working with geometry of straight lines. We are at lesson three. Vertically opposite angles are equal. Now, if you're looking at this here, this diagram here, angle A is equal to angle C. There's A equal to C. Vertically opposite angles form an X. So opposite to the X, these angles are equal. And angle D is equal to angle B. So when you find the X, these are the angles that are pair of angles are equal. Now sometimes the diagram looks a little bit more involved or hectic, not a simple X like in this example here. So if you're looking at this example here, we have angle P. Now vertically opposite angle P is not R or S, it's both R and S. That's ver vertically opposite to angle P. So if you look at your X carefully, there's your X here. So you can use a pencil, color pencil, to mark on your worksheet to find your vertically opposite angles. You find that P is equal to R and S. There's it here. Now, in terms of Q and T, the vertically opposite angles there, there's Q and there's T. Right, that's your vertically opposite. And they come along this line here. There's the X as well. All right, so Q and T, there's your vertically opposite angles for Q and T. Now look at the example given. Okay, let's clear what we have done. Now in the example given here, we have to solve for angle A, B, and C. We need to first identify our vertically opposite angles. So if we, if we are solving for A, there's angle A. Now, vertically opposite to this is actually 102 degrees because of our X formation. There's the X formation. It's vertically opposite. So A is equal to 102 degrees, vertically opposite. Now let's see if we can find B. To find B, there's B. And that's 100, that's 41 degrees, sorry. So vertically opposite, there's B there. And that's your 41 degrees. So you will find the X formation for angle B is here. So angle B is vertically opposite to 41 degrees. So there angle B is equal to 41 degrees, vertically opposite angles. Now we need to solve for C. Now vertically opposite to C, I mean, is this, is this, this angle here, but we do not have a value for this angle. So working with what we have, we have 41, we have a value for A. The value for A is 102 degrees. We have a value for B, and B is 41. So if you're working at angle C, we have one of two ways. One way is working with a straight angle on this side. These lines, these angles on the line on this side add up to 180 degrees. So we can work with this. That adds up to 180 degrees. So angle C can be worked out with angles on the straight line. Or we could have worked with angles on this side. Yeah, 102. 41 and work at angle C. Have look at the example here. We said 180 degrees minus 41. So 180 minus is 41 minus the angle A, subtracting angle A to get angle C. So there's 180 minus the 41 minus 102 and gives you angle C, which is 37 degrees angles of the straight line. So we now have used two reasons. One is vertically opposite angles and angles on the straight line. If you're looking at the examples that are given for application, use the same idea to work out your unknowns. In this case, you're working at A and you're going to work at B. Remember, 3B is equal to 57, so you have to work at B. And yet A will be equal to 123. Use the same idea here and here. We have a hint is you have to you will obtain an equation to solve for A. So the answers are not directly 
given. So you need to write down your statement and a reason like this. You write your statement and your reason and you solve for the unknown angles. Okay, please complete your application to the next lesson.